hey what's up i know it's been a while yeah i wasn't feeling well but i'm back so let's make this dress in style 3d all right okay So yeah, to start, I will just go to the library and I'll go to the garment and I'm going to choose this um, female and I'll add it to into our scene. All right. So um, yeah, we we're just going to simulate it and I'll grab the bottom and I will just bring it down. So a little bit down, I'll just drag it just like this so maybe a little bit because yeah so this length is accurate and um you're just gonna delete the sleeves so yeah so i'm gonna boost the size a little bit so just boost the size just like that and we have something like this and i actually don't like this one here so i'll delete it all right so yeah now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click the fabric and i'm gonna go to the um alpha in most case is um here so i'll just click on it like this and i'll all, all i just want is i'm trying to mimic the waistline and i will just make a point and i'll copy the point and i'll place the point here and now we can bring the opacity up so i will grab these handles and i will push these handles inside a little bit don't worry we don't need those so it's okay so definitely i'm gonna push in the waist inside a little bit we are gonna do it much more i mean push it inside much more so yeah this is just the start okay so now since we have this part in I will do the same so i just need um a measurement for the hips so i'm gonna do the same and i'll copy onto the other part and i'll grab it and extend it out yeah it's gonna look weird and extend the bottom also out it's definitely gonna look weird but relax this is just the beginning so I will just grab the waist and I'll just pull it in a little bit. Yeah. Don't worry about me pulling it in. You will just, you understand. So yeah, this look very weird. So what we're going to do is I'll right click and I'll just make it a smooth curve. So it's going to bring the point out a little bit, but making it smooth. And I'm going to do it for this one too. So smooth curve. And I'm going to do the smooth curve for the hip here so i'll grab the smooth curve and i'll just curve the hip just like that and i'm gonna curve this one too um just like so all right so we have this all right so yeah i will push this in here and don't worry about this we are definitely gonna eliminate it so yeah and here i'll um click d for the pen tool and i'll just make a line and grab the line and i'll just make this line and i'll just right click and i'll say cut and i'll do the same for this one too so definitely we are gonna delete um the top patterns here and i'll just delete them so we have something like this so grab the top lines here and push them up way to the top yes way to the top yeah and it will just simulate and we have this okay so now i want to delete the line here because it's actually symmetric pattern we saw and that's why we had that line so definitely when we delete that it's not going to be symmetric pattern we're sewing anymore because we want to make the elastic so you see the effect of the um, elastic right there so this is more intense because you are going to push it in a gradual process so since this is going way ahead intense we are going to grab there's going to be a little line because of the smooth curve that we did we are going to have a little line here yeah 
this line. So when I grab this line, I'll, I'm not gonna make it that much. It's gonna be um, a little bit, and I'm and this one too. I'm not gonna make it that much. It's gonna be just a, um, a small amount of it of the intensity of um, the elastic. Okay, so uh, just like this, and yeah, we already have the effect. But we are not almost done. I mean, we are not done. So I actually, I want to grab the two here. But I realize when I grab the two, it's actually moving together. So I'll just delete symmetric parts and restore And I realize this is not working. So I'll just leave them and do them one after the other. All right. Because when you do both of them, one is going to be um, bigger than the other. So. All right. So. At this point we want to make the um, the shoulder straps okay so i just need a point so i'll just click on the 3d and i'll go to the 2d and i'll make a point and i'll copy and i'll just paste that point here we are going to change the point move the point but don't worry but now pay attention here when we post we paste the point here we don't have the it accurate because let's dive inside here and we have this point here so we have to delete this point and we will just click back on the line and we will say change length and we will copy the length and now we are gonna paste this here and now we are gonna have the accurate measurement all right so yeah we will just create uh the straps for the shoulders and um I'll just push it to yeah so I'm um, this here I'm using the uh, free sewing tool because um we want to get it accurate so I'm using the free sewing tool and um I'll just make it on top of the on top of the shoulders so I'll just do the free sewing tool again and click and grab so that's how it is and you just control C and control V to the other side and you just repeat the same process and you just have um, the shoulder straps okay yeah so I will simulate and um, when we simulate okay so I want to push it to the other side because um, I feel it's too much so I, I want to push it to the other side a little bit but the back I'm gonna leave it just like that so when we simulate we have this it's not actually being um, it's not sticking to the shoulder so what we have to do is we are gonna click here and we go to the static friction and I'll boost the static friction a little bit and it's now gonna stick yeah so yeah just like that so uh i want to perfect this a little bit so i mean something like this yeah so now we want to make um the drawstrings to actually mimic the um elastic at that side so we just make um a simple pattern just like that and uh I will just grab my free sewing tool and just do it just like this and I'll just sew it to that side and um, I'm gonna pu pull down the length to make it a little taller so um, when I click on it and I'll just control C control V to actually get it on the other side I mean you know the process so I will also push it to next to the cloth so all we have to do is just grab uh, the free sewing tool and um after we grab the free sewing tool just like that and just like that but we have to decrease the length of this one so i'll push it upwards to actually decrease it and um we will have to make another one so the other one we will uh we will just click on this drawstring and 
after we click on it control c control v and we are gonna paste it here so after pasting it grab your free solving tool again and just keep solving them to the parts and so we're gonna grab the bottom here and we are gonna sew this here okay yeah so when we simulate we have the effect of um the draw strings just right like that so yeah actually we are almost done but i want to show you one thing so um if you need more folds all you have to do is go to the shrinkage ratio wrap and i'll place it to 120 and yeah it's gonna give us more folds and for the whole pattern i feel like on this side i need a little bit of um the shrink effect so i'll grab uh let me see i'll grab both lines here and i'll just make the elastic and a little bit not that much just a little bit okay yeah so this is the whole part and um yeah this is the whole part and okay so um thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to leave a comment all right so we are gonna make on the next video okay take care i'm out peace out